I mean, 12 starts in 2020, was solid to very good. He's 34 in March, has four years and $47 million left on his contract. Yes, he's a little bit older. Yes, he's had some health issues, but the recent medicals are about the cancer that he's beaten. He set 93 to 96 with a fastball in 2020. His slider and curveball are both above average, as is his changeup. So true four-pitch guy there. He's a little older than you'd want, of course. Um you know, you don't necessarily want to hand a 34-year-old four years and $47 million, but if you were a free agent and a typical winner, he might get that. And and if it were three and 47, you'd feel a little bit better about it because it only impacts three of your payrolls. And three and, you know, less than $16 million per for, for a performer like Carlos Carrasco is worth it. 12 million a year for Carrasco is a bargain. You just worry, okay, how good is he going to be at 37, 38 years old? This kind of becomes the Nelson Cruz conversation in a way. You know, different players, different risks, but the age thing, it's kind of the same. Now, in trade, Carrasco probably costs less than Blake's now. I'm not sure. But he has a better track record, too. Carrasco did walk a career high, what, 9.6% of the batteries he faced in 2020. It didn't seem to hinder his overall performance all that much. But his career mark is 6.3, and his strikeout rates are amazingly consistent. Check this out. I pulled these and pasted them. Starting in 2014, when Carrasco first settled in with Cleveland, um, and ending in 2020, he put up strikeout rates of 26.5, 29.6, 25, 28.3, 29.5, 28.2, and 29.3. That's remarkable. That's a frontline guy. He's become uh, slightly more fly ball reliant the past four years, but T-Mobile in Seattle would take care of some of that anyway, and it doesn't seem to have hurt him in Cleveland. Now, he's far from a no-brainer because the medical history is real, the age issue is real, and when you combine those two things, you know that has to be a concern. He's had a little bit of shoulder soreness here and there, back issues, you know, and obviously cancer, but he's super intriguing. Carlos Carrasco is really intriguing. And if he were to hit the market, there would be many clubs interested, but Seattle should at least make that call and check the temperature. What's Cleveland asking for out of the gate? Is it astronomical and ridiculous? Then I guess you're not even having a second conversation. Is it somewhat reasonable but still too rich for you? Work on them. Work on them and see what happens. The Mariners' iron should be in a fire like that for at least a little while and and, and see what burns out. Um, you may get a better pitcher than you know in, in Carrasco than Snell or Sonny Gray for a better trade cost simply because he's a little older and has more things that flash risk to a club. You know, I'd bet on him with that ridiculously palatable contract. I mean, how much of a detriment is it if at 37 and 38, Carlos Carrasco only makes 30 starts in two years and earns $12 million a year? Is that good? No. Does that tear the competitiveness from the teams? Like, oh, we have this albatross of a con. It's $12 million. The Mar- the 2018 Mariners won 89 games and made moves and got better in certain areas and competed for the majority of the season when Felix Hernandez wasn't giving them anything, and he was making 25 So while he's not a no-brainer, the interest – it should be automatic. Have significant interest in a guy like Carlos Carrasco. Absolutely. So Cleveland, yeah, they hold some cards there. So what do they do? Is it just Lindor and they're hoping to get enough Major League ready talent or proven veterans in return for Lindor to kind of keep this going with Carrasco in that bullpen and uh, certainly Jose Ramirez kind of anchoring that lineup now? Uh, are they willing to go out with uh, you know Lindor off the books now uh, including his arbitration salaries off the books and add a bat or two. They're going to go out and are they players for Nelson Cruz on a one-year deal, for example, to kind of replace some of the offense that they'd probably be losing in trading Francisco Lindor. Um, I don't know which direction they're heading, but I don't think it's automatic. They rebuild. I do think they should. And I think you can do a, if you're Cleveland, you can do a rebuild and still not trade Jose Ramirez. But Carlos Carrasco is 33 years old. He's going to be 34 in March. That's a guy you dangle if you're if you're Cleveland, without question. And that's a guy you call about 
or text about or fax about or send interest over on a dinosaur if you're Jerry DePoto. Whatever route you want to take. 